Spiesen Elvisberg, located in Saarland, is not well known outside of Germany. In fact, the southwest German town, population 12,748, hardly has an English wiki page. But the town is home to a humble 105 year old football club called Sportvereinigung No Sieben Elvisberg, also known as SV Elvisberg. And they recently destroyed Leverkusen, knocking them out of the DFB Pokal. Hi everyone, welcome to the Footy Girl channel where this girl talks everything football or soccer. So naturally, I decided to do a video about Elvisborg after they beat Leverkusen in true David and Goliath style during the DFB Cup round one. Like many others, particularly outside of Germany, I imagine that game was an introduction to Elvisborg. But their determination hasn't ended with their humbling of Neverkusen. I mean, Leverkusen. Elvisborg have taken the Dreite Liga over with a storm. And while it's still early days, they look like pretty good contenders to gain double promotion and make it to the second league next season. I've said before that I love a good Cinderella story, so I just had to do more research into this team. We'll briefly cover their history, how they gained promotion to the Dreite Liga, and their potential future trajectory. The club was originally founded in 1907 as Germania Elvisborg, but since 1952, the team has existed as Sportvereinigung No Sieben Elvisborg. Whew. I did it, guys. I said it. I said it. Oh, it's so hard to say. <laughs> the team were considered amateur since their inception as they played in the third tier Amateur Liga Saarland until 1960. Then, until the 1980s, Elvisborg slipped into relative anonymity as they fell to lower and lower tiers before resurfacing in the Regional Liga West Sudwest which at the time was Germany's third tier of football between 1994 and 2000. During that time period, the third tier of German football was segmented into four regional tiers that encompassed certain states. So, the Regionalliga West, Südwest, the tier Elvisberg participated in during much of the 90s, included Saarland, Rheinland-Pfalz, and Nordrhein-Westfalen. The founding class of the league had a number of members known to Bundesliga and Zweite Liga fans, such as Armenia Bielefeld, Prussen Munster, and Alemannia Aachen. Eventually, the four regional ligas were reduced to two in 2000, a North and a South League. These two leagues were the German third tier until 2008, when the Dreite Liga as we know it today was formed. Unfortunately, by 2008, Elvisborg had slipped into the fourth tier yet again, and thus, they did not participate as an inaugural member of the Dreite Liga, Germany's new third tier of football. And they would stay in the fourth tier for much of the 2000s. Things started to look up for Elvisborg during the 2016-2017 season, though, when they earned a place in the promotion playoff, a chance to make it to the Dreite Liga. However, they lost during the playoff to Unterhaching 5-2 and were denied promotion. Nonetheless, from the 2017-2018 to the 2020-2021 season, the season that they obviously finally gained promotion back to the Dreite Liga, things progressively improved for Elvisborg. As you can see, they slowly crept up the table season by season, and so it could be assumed that they made small improvements. Perhaps it was already in the minds of the players and trainers that promotion was imminent. A constant from 2018 onward has been manager and former Gladbach and Duisburg player Paul Steffen, who appears to have had a positive impact at the club. 
with only four losses during their 2021-2022 campaign and a convincing three-point lead over Ulm, Elvisbeg was able to capture promotion to the Dreite Liga, then win the Zalen Cup for the third season in a row over Homburg, beating them 1-2 after extra time. The future looks bright for Elvisbeg, who made their arrival to the third tier pronounced with the trouncing of Rotweiss Essen on opening day. Then they turned around and embarrassed Leverkusen in the DFB Pokal. Obviously, Leverkusen didn't see Elvisborg as a team worth taking seriously, and they paid the price. But Elvisborg played an spectacular game. I watched that game live, and it, it was incredible. Spurred on by Cup Magic, they were able to defeat the quote-unquote bigger team. Elvisborg dispatched Leverkusen from the competition without the need for extra time with a 4-3 end score. As coach Horst Steffen said, the lads really got going from the start. We were constantly on the move and made good attacks. The way we then acted and countered in the second half when our strength was a bit weaker was really good. In the end, we didn't win undeservedly. The boys worked and earned this sensational victory. That cup match seems to have signaled the beginning of a bright era for Elvisburg and a new, darker one for Leverkusen. Elvisburg went on to win more matches in the Dreite Liga as they dispatch Oldenburg 2-3, destroys Weichau at home 5-0, and convincingly beat Dynamo Dresden 2-3. And Leverkusen? Well, they've lost all their Bundesliga matches so far, including the opener, which they've never done in recent history. Now, if the past is to dictate the future, Elvisborg might bomb out of the Dreite Liga this season like they did during the 2013-2014 season. However, for now, there isn't any reason to believe that the small town club won't keep the momentum going. They haven't been in the Dreite Liga for almost 10 years, so at the end of the day, what do they got to lose? So, do you think Elvisborg will keep the positive trajectory and at least remain in the Dreite Liga or even pull off a double promotion? Let me know what you think in the comments. And are you new to the Dreite Liga, the, the third tier of German football? If you're interested in watching some of the matches live with English commentary, I've linked the German football channel below in the description box so you can check out some of those games. And yes, it's 100% legal, so there's no funny business going on with that channel. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little video about this little club, small town club making big waves in the third tier of German football. Um, I'll certainly be watching them and, and rooting for them and hoping that they pull off the double promotion feat. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to click like and also subscribe and hit the bell if you'd like to see more football analysis videos here. I am also on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, so follow me there. I'll see you there, and I'll see you here next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!